Hello students. In present video, I am going to explain about 14th problem from depreciation topic. I am taking this question from Pankaj Publications book. See the question first. Charan and company bought a missionary for 4,80,000 rupees on 1st January 2005. They depreciated the same at 10% under return down value method. On 31st December 2008, they wanted to change the method of depreciation from diminishing balance method to straight line method with a retrospective effect without changing the rate. Show the asset account from 2005 to 2009. The accounts are closed on 31st December of every year. This is the question. Let us see the solution for this. Missionary account. Date particular amount. Date particular amount. They purchased this machinery on 1st January 2005. And what is the new point in this problem? In 2008 year, they changed the depreciation method from diminishing balance method to straight line method. So first year 2005, second year 2006, third year 2007. For these three years, they have calculated depreciation under diminishing balance method. Nothing but return down value method. And in 2008 year, they have decided to change their method from diminishing balance to fixed installment method. Regarding this change of depreciation method, you should know one point. See, I have written here. You need not to show like this in exam. Change in depreciation method is of two types. With immediate effect, with a retrospective effect. What is the meaning of this two? With immediate effect means in 2008 year they changed the depreciation method now. So three years already we have provided depreciation under diminishing balance method. And from 2008 onwards we have to provide depreciation on fixed installment method. And this three years diminishing balance method related depreciation we need not to adjust. So. 3 years under diminishing balance method we provided depreciation and from 4th year onwards under fixed installment method we will continue the problem. Therefore, if with immediate effect sentence is given, we need not to show any adjustments. But other method is what? With the retrospective effect. What is the meaning of this? First three years, they have provided depreciation under return down value method, diminishing balance method. In fourth year, they want to change the method from diminishing balance to straight line method. And under straight line method, from 2018, we have to provide depreciation. Not only that, first three years also, as per fixed installment method, we have to calculate the depreciation again. And... 3 years depreciation under fixed installment method, 3 years depreciation under return down value method. Both we should compare. And that difference we have to adjust in the books. Through profit and loss adjustment account, we have to adjust this difference. Means, if with retrospective effect sentence is given, depreciation adjustment is required. Now in present problem, this sentence is given with a retrospective effect. So how to adjust the depreciation excess amount? Let us see. They purchased the asset on 1st January 2005. On that day debit side to bank, they purchased the asset for 4,80,000 rupees. In first year, there is no change of method now. At the end of first year, that is on 31st December 2005, because this firm is following calendar year as their accounting year. So starting date 1st January, ending date 31st December. On that day, we have to provide depreciation under diminishing balance method. So opening balance, nothing but cost is 4,80,000 now. On that, at the rate of 10%. 12 months we used, therefore months are not required. Depreciation is 48,000. On the same day, balance carried down. Debit total 480000 minus credit depreciation 48000 is equal 432000 rupees so two sides highest total 480000 480000 come to second year next date of this date today's date is 31st december 5 tomorrow's date 1st january 6 
on that day this balance carried down amount you have to bring on opposite side two balance brought down 432000 rupees and the 2006 year last date 31st december 2006 on that day again we have to provide depreciation no? and this is diminishing balance method so what is the feature of this method every year on opening balance of the asset we have to calculate the depreciation so first year opening balance is 480000 on that we have calculated depreciation second year opening a balance is 432000 so on the 10% you have to calculate and in 2006 year also full year we use the asset so months are not required 4 lakh 32000 into 10% 43200 is a depreciation next balance carried down debit total 4 lakh 32000 minus credit total 43800 is equal to 3 lakh 88800 come to third year same so starting date of the third year Two balance brought down. This balance carried down amount three lakh eighty eight thousand eight hundred. Third year last date thirty first December seven by depreciation account. Now third year opening balance of the asset is three lakh eighty eight thousand eight hundred. No, on that at the rate of ten percent for full year depreciation thirty eight thousand eight eighty. Remaining amount balance carried down. Debit total three lakh eighty eight thousand eight hundred. Minus credit depreciation thirty eight thousand eight eighty is equal three lakh forty nine thousand nine twenty. Two sides highest total. Come to fourth year. Date is first January two thousand eight. Two balance brought down this amount four lakh ninety forty nine thousand nine twenty rupees. And in two thousand eight, what happened? See the question again. On thirty first December two thousand eight means at the end of fourth year. they wanted to change the method of depreciation from diminishing balance method to straight line method with a retrospective effect without changing the rate means depreciation rate is same under diminishing balance method 10% under fixed installment method also 10% only but with a retrospective effect we have to change the depreciation if this retrospective word is given we have to adjust the depreciation difference no so till here you do the problem leave the space and you have to show that adjustment in a working notes see this is the working notes heading amount to be transferred to profit and loss adjustment account so we have to calculate the depreciation for first 3 years under return down value method and under straight line method we should compare those two then we will come to understand how much extra depreciation we have to provide or already whether we have provided any extra depreciation or not we will come to know see first year is 2005 second year 2006 third year 2007 in fourth year ending we are going to change the method means first 3 years only we provided depreciation under old method diminishing balance method therefore that the first 3 years depreciation under diminishing first 3 years depreciation under fixed installment both we need for comparison so depreciation for 2005 year no need to calculate separately because under return down value method only we did this account now so values are available readily first year depreciation 48000 here second year depreciation 43200 third year 38880 those two amounts also then total is 130080 so for first 3 years under return down value method under diminishing balance method depreciation is 130080 already we have provided this suppose from 2005 if we provide depreciation under straight line method what will be the value of total depreciation for first 3 years that also separately we have to calculate so heading is under straight line method how will be the depreciation amounts under straight line method on original cost of the asset we have to provide depreciation now first year original cost is 480000 on that 10% depreciation is 48000 now so for 2005 year depreciation under fixed installment method 48000 in 2006 and 7 also we have to provide depreciation on original cost only 
not on opening balance. Therefore, for 2006 and 7 year also, depreciation amounts will be the same. 48,000, 48,000. 3 amounts total, 1,44,000. So, under diminishing value method, for first 3 years depreciation is 1,30,080. Under fixed installment method, for first 3 years total depreciation is 1,44,000. So, how much excess depreciation we have to provide now? Excess depreciation under new method is 1,44,000. Depreciation under straight line method minus 1,30,080. Depreciation under written down value method is equal 13,920. So, when this new method is applied, then in depreciation, how much more depreciation we have to provide? 13,920. Depreciation, we said we are writing credit side. So, in asset account, in missionary account, credit side, we have to post that 13,920. If you want to post like that, while writing the journal entry, missionary account should be on credit side only, no? Therefore, in this journal entry, two missionary account means missionary account should be credited with this excess amount 13,920. And extra depreciation we are providing. This is loss. This loss is to be transferred to profit and loss adjustment account. So that account name we should write in debit. So final entry is profit and loss adjustment account data to asset account, missionary account. This calculated value 13,920, 13,920. So remember, if total depreciation under new method is more than total depreciation under old method, then the entry for this extra depreciation is profit and loss adjustment account data to asset account. Suppose total depreciation under new method is less than total depreciation under old method. Then reverse entry comes asset account data to profit and loss adjustment account. In that case, that entry will be posted on debit side of asset account. Here, missionary is created now. Therefore, this entry we have to post on credit side of missionary account. What to write in particular column? Debit account name, profit and loss adjustment account. Amount is 13,920. See here. Credit side. We are changing the method on 31st December 8th now. Fourth year last date. So, write down that date by profit and loss adjustment account calculated value 13,920 then remaining problem as usual on this date now this 4,80,000 worth of asset is there with us on that depreciation we have to calculate but under which method from 2008 onwards we have to follow straight line method now so under straight line method you have to provide the depreciation under straight line method every year we calculate depreciation on original cost only Therefore, depreciation calculation is 4,80,000 into 10% and a full year we used, so months are not required, 48,000. Then debit total minus credit total is 2,88,000. That is balance carried down. And in question, he is asking us to show the missionary account up to 31st December 9th. Therefore, next year also we have to continue this account. So next year starting date, Next date of this date, 31st December 2008. Next date is 1st January 9. Write down that date on debit side. You have to bring the balance now. Two balance brought down. This value, 2,88,000 on debit side. And the last date of 2009 year, 31st December 2009 by depreciation account. In this year also, we have to provide depreciation under straight line method. What is the feature of this method? Every year we provide depreciation on original cost of the asset. Original cost is 4,80,000 now. So here also 4,80,000 into 10% for full year. No need to show the calculation because already here we have shown that. So same 48,000 comes here. Then on the same day, balance carried down. Debit total 2,88,000 minus credit depreciation 48,000 is equal to 2,40,000. So up to 31st December 9, he asked. Up to that date completed. But there is balance carried down in this account. Means account A. Asset account is not at closed. Therefore, for next date, bring the balance and stop the problem. So, next date is 1st January 10. Two balance brought down. 
this value 240000 on debit side and in 2010 year don't show the depreciation because up to 2009 31st december only he asked no so problem is completed take a screenshot of this solution working note screenshot also so this is the end of present video hope this video is helpful to you thank you